Hi everyone, I'm Jim and welcome to the review of Strangers Only, the second studio record by the band My Ticket Home. Today we are celebrating the 10th anniversary of the record, so I decided to go back and see if it still holds up or not. I've already reviewed the record Unreal last year, so go check that review out. I found out about this band over 10 years ago thanks to Will Patney, the producer of this record, who shared some info on his Facebook that he was working with My Ticket Home. The lineup here is Nick on bass and vocals, his brother Marshall on the drums, Matt and Derek on the guitars. The production is tight, it's clean but heavy, it has a live feeling to it. Will Patney was at his best at the time, there's no loudness or no clipping, just pure energy. Message is diverse, the songs are mostly about personal struggles, relationship issues, boredom, love, growing up, teenage stuff basically. Structure of the tracks is basic, standard intro, verse, pre-chorus, chorus, verse, pre-chorus, chorus, bridge, chorus, outro, sometimes it's slightly different. And the music on this record is old school nu metal, it truly sounds like this record is from early 2000s. It's a complete departure from their previous style, which was post hardcore and metalcore, and I'm all for it, I love nu metal. The album starts with the song Spit Not Truth, and the first thing I'm going to notice here is the drumming, it's stellar for the entire record. Marshall is on fire, his groove, his speed, the intensity of his playing is all over the top. He brings the energy and just life to this band. Then we have Nick with his bass playing and the bass is audible. He mostly follows the guitars but sometimes he plays his own stuff. His bass sound enriches the sound of the band. When it comes to the guitar work, Matt and Derek are straight up killing it. They are using various guitar pedals to give their guitars that old school 90s sound. Besides all of the amazing groovy guitar parts, we also have some beautiful lead guitar work, lots of atmospheric melodies, but also some cool guitar scratching and lots, lots of harmonics. All of these techniques make this record sound interesting and one of a kind. Finally you have the vocals and what I love about this band the most is that on this record every band member provides some vocals. Matt and Marshall are doing some background backing vocals, Derek, one of the guitarists, is clean singing on songs like Keep Alone, you all know better than me, foul stench of youth, etc. His singing has more of a post-hardcore vibe to it, but it fits the music. And last but not least we have Nick, the main vocalist here. He mostly uses here his unique yelling type of a voice, but he also provides clean singing on the songs Hot Soap and Head Change. And that clean singing is more explored on the next record, Unreal. And I just love it because it's that classic nu metal singing, like it reminds you of Deftones and other stuff like that. I wish he would sing more on this record, but I guess he wasn't too comfortable with his voice back then. On Unreal, that stuff changed. This opening track, Spit Not Shoot, is a single with a music video, and it's a banger. Every single second when it comes to the instrumental work is flawless. The guitars, the bass, the drumming, the vocals are on point, the shouting, the yelling, the screaming, just everything. I love the breakdown on this song and the bridge because it has that dissonant chord like an old school chord, you know, doom doom, wow, 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 doom doom, wow, 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 wow. This is some legendary shit, 11 out of 10. Painfully bored is even heavier than the previous song. Negative heartbeat, I feel it. Negative heartbeat, you're not my friend. This is all great. This <laughs> I just love the verses here, the chorus, the breakdown, just everything. The lyrics are about boredom. What else can I say? No one likes you, cause they're too cool. 11 out of 10. Hot Soap is another single with a music video and this is a banger through and through. The lyrics here, the vocals, the music, just every single segment is on point. I especially love the verses. They have that vibe of Nirvana mixed with nu metal. I just love it so much. Both Nick and Derek are on point when it comes to their vocals. Free love is a lie. I'm gonna take it anyway. 11 out of 10. Teenage Cremation is the most energetic song on the record, I just love it. The instrumental work is on point, that main guitar riff is just so fucking good. Pure metal shit. Then we have the vocals and the lyrics. I'm not good for you! I'm not good for you! I just love that part with cool kids complain about life, I just want to tell them FUCK YOU! <laughs> it's just so fun, but it's true. This song doesn't have any flaws and the handshake is dead. 11 out of 10. 
Keep Alone is another banger. This song actually reminds me when I was 16 years old and I was going back from school and listening to this record on my iPod. The weather on that day was just so sunny and beautiful and I would sing along to the chorus of this song. You ask me hello, but I keep alone, I'm stuck at home in my head. I know that I can sing, but I just love that chorus. Also the singing in the bridge is just flawless. Derek did an amazing work singing on this song. 11 out of 10. You all know better than me. Shout out to my friend Sammy. This is his favorite song from this record. And I must say that this is also one of my faves. I just love the guitar scratching here. Pa -pow, pa -pow. It reminds me of Rage Against the Machine. Also the verses are just so full of energy. The chorus is so angry, but also true. The singing, the screaming, the instrumental work, just everything is perfect on this song. I wouldn't change a single thing. Go listen to this one right now. Also, you think you're better than me? Have a note of ten. Head change is pure nu metal and whenever I hear it, it transports me back to 2001. Because it has that vibe. It reminds me of good old days. It's so nostalgic, the guitar riffs, the instrumental work, the verses are just so fucking good. They make me cry. Nick's singing on this song is on point. I wish he would sing on more of the songs on this record, but at least we have head change. The lyrics are also fun, go check them out. This song is my favorite one from this record and I will always love it. What else can I say? REVIVAL! 12 out of 10. Foul Stange of Youth is another highlight of this record, I love every single second of it, but I must say that the pre-chorus is the best part. I... I like you more than me... I like you more than me... I like you more... I like you... 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 Yeah! It's just so fun to listen to. I could replay that part for all of the eternity and I wouldn't get bored of it. But everything else in the song is also on the exact same level. 11 out of 10. Ayahuasca is another single with a music video and do I love it or hate it? I love it or hate it? I love it or hate it? Hey, 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 are you paranoid? Par <laughs> I just love this song with all of my heart, the verses, the chorus, the bridge. The breakdown here just slaps. It reminds me of Korn, you know, the dissonant chords, but also the drummer is straight up killing it with his feet. This is a legendary track. Elven out of 10. And the final song, Kick Rocks. Guess what? It's a masterpiece. I love single second of it. The verses. Bullshit, Bowser, who are you? Bullshit, Bowser, get a clue. I don't know if this is the chorus or the pre-chorus. Who cares? The bridge part is amazing, you know, with that drummer's leg work. Straight from the ass, out of your mouth. Straight from the ass, out of your mouth. Bullshit! <laughs> it just goes so hard. I love this song. I don't know what else to say. You're full of it. 11 out of 10. To sum it all up, the consistency is stable and the flow is ideal, replayability. Yeah, it's a timeless record, I love it from beginning to the end. It doesn't have any flaws and every single song here could have been a single with a music video and everyone would love it. These kinds of records don't come out that often, so when they do, cherish them with all of your heart. I love every single track on this record, but if I had to pick my top 5, it would be Head Change, Faust Change of Youth, you all know better than me, Keep Alone and Teenage Cremation. This is a perfect summer record if you're driving somewhere or maybe you're coming back from school or work and you're happy that you're finally free. That's all from me, celebrate the recipe by spinning this record today, it deserves your love and attention. Thanks for watching, don't forget to like and subscribe, follow me on my Instagram pages, links in the description. Also consider becoming a member on my channel, I can make you an album review, lyric video, a Doom MIDI cover, anything you like. I will see you in my other videos, bye!